three in a row. No matter how peaceful your demonstration, the police will use different weapons just like tear gas, water cannon, rubber bullets. The only way we can do is protect myself with my own hand. Ivan is 19 years old and is claiming asylum in the UK, worried he'll be arrested if he returns to Hong Kong after protesting against China's national security law. After I've been arrived to the police station, I cannot see my lawyer. And when the interrogation is going on, they put a towel on my hair and put the on put the water on up on the towel, and I cannot breathe. And the only thing to support me to do not say anything is I know that. If I say anything, this may be will use our evidence to persecute me. I don't want my next 10 years will be like this. Some of my friends told me I can come to UK and then in the morning and then I just buy a ticket to this night and then leave because I have no choice. Exhibitions like these in London help bring Hong Kongers together, which is sorely needed for Ivan as his family are too scared to contact him. Why right now, what the Chinese regime want to do is want to make Hong Kong become a part of China and destroy our language. Hong Kong is not China! Across the UK, there have been angry protests from the Hong Kong community against the Chinese government. Hong Kong used to be a British colony. So when the government saw China cracking down on protesters, they opened up a special visa for millions of people. But it's only available to people who were born before the handover in 1997. So for younger people like Ivan, they can only apply for asylum, and there's no guarantee they'll be given leave to remain. But the amendment to the bill being debated in the House of Lords today would change all that. It affects people who are about 18 to 25-year-olds, who uh, are the most likely to be probably arrested on trumped-up charges uh, of sedition, which basically means that at some stage they were protesting, a right which people in the UK, of course, should recall they take for granted here. There it could lead, lead to a loss of liberty for some considerable time and persecution afterwards. We put Ivan's allegations of torture to the Chinese government, but did not receive a reply. Ivan's currently waiting for a decision on his asylum claim. He's unable to work or study in the meantime. I just want to be a normal person again, just like a normal 19-year-old student. Alice Porter, GB News.